Hi everyone, this is my second video in the series Quarkus and AI. Let's have fun together. Uh, in the first video, I showed you how to set up a complete local development environment with Langford Chain, Quarkus, of course, and Olama to run the models locally. Today, what we are going to do is to add memory to our chatbot. And when I say memory, I don't speak about RAM, but actually the real memory like as humans, we have memory in our brain. So let's make sure that the bot will remember the stuff we tell him, okay? Uh, we will use a pretty simple implementation that is uh, come out of the box in uh, langchain for j And then we will create a custom implementation that will be using Redis there, over there, uh, to make it more persistent, more scalable, more, well, it's fun, you will see. Okay, let's go uh, to the code. So last time um, I left you with a pretty simple project where we have one endpoint with endpoint chat uh, that calls uh, my AI service and my AI service is just here an interface that I register as an AI interface. It's application scoped. Uh, I got here a system message, okay. And then the signature of the method and a user message, which is the prompt. Okay. And um, I'm using Olama and I'm using here Mistral as local model. And if I ask a question like, uh, toot, 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 like, uh, hello, my name is Seb. Okay. So here I'm telling him that my name is Seb. He should be answering me. Hi, Seb. It's nice to meet you, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But if I t ask him uh, to say, let me go for my. If I ask him, hey, hello, what is my name? Okay, let's see what happened. And he should say, um, I'm an artificial intelligence. I don't have the ability to know or remember specific information about individuals. Okay, so remember LLMs are stateless and we have here the proof of it because he didn't remember that my name is Seb. How can we fix that? Well, it's really easy with uh, langchain for j and actually, I have just one thing to do or two things to do. Uh, here, my meta signature, what I can do is provide another annotation called memory ID. Here, I can pass whatever I want, an object. Let me pass an um, a long, which will represent the ID. And just with that, uh, Langchain for j will know that he has to persist the history of the chat. Um, let me save that. That should, uh, yes, here I need to provide an ID. Let's keep it simple and let's put one here and there we go. And let me clear this. And this time I say, hello, my name is Seb. Again, we go through the model, blah, blah, blah. Hello, Seb, nice to meet you. Cool. And then I ask him, hello, what is my name? Okay. And this time you should say, hey, yeah. Hey, Seb, based on our previous interaction, I believe your name is Seb. You see, that's it. We have added memory uh, to our chatbot. Cool. Um, there are some tweaks. I, I go to the length for J or the Quarkus extension documentation to, to see how you can fine tune here. We're using a uh, uh, basic 10, uh, 10 memories, but you can have a moving window and stuff like that. But for now it's an in memory memory store. So uh, that means it's, it's in the memory of our app and if our app goes down or the user leaves the session and comes back, well, it's it's lost. Um, but there's an interface uh, called the chat memory store that you can implement and you can bring in your own chat memory store. So let's do one and um, for this one, let's use the Redis because you did, the Redis is a perfect use case for that, you know. We have a key and we have a value and we can put whatever we want in the value. We will put the conversation in the in the, in in there. Okay. Um, first thing I need to do is add an extension to my project. So uh, adding the Redis client. There we go. And that should add it to my palm. Okay. There we go. It's there. Okay, cool. It's there and uh, we can uh, create our new um, class. Whoa, what did I do? No, that's what I not, not want to do here. Let's go here, new file and let's call it the Redis uh, chat memory store dot Java. Okay. It's an uh, 
class, sorry, and it will implement, it will implement the, the chat memory store. Yes. Thank you, Copilot. There we go. And uh, let's see which methods we need to implement. Commands. Uh, override implement methods. There we go. Uh, yeah. Okay. Woo. So delete message, get message, update message. Okay. That's uh, quite easy. Um, what we will do here? We will be using Reddit. So. Uh, in Redis, you have commands. Huh? You have the the, the, the most uh, simple one is uh, the, the the value commands, the get and set. Okay, you have uh, you have sets, sorted sets, uh, geo stuff. We uh, for our case, we just need uh, the the value set. We only want to set a key and a value. So let me do a private final. Uh, it's called the value, no, the value operate, uh, commands. There we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me just check one thing over here. Okay. I don't want to, to, to mess around. Yeah. Uh, value commands. And, uh, this will take a string for the key. Okay. To keep it simple. I could put it along there, uh, and a list of chat messages. There we go, value command. And uh, then I need to manipulate the keys at one point uh, when I want to remove the messages. So I'm adding the key commands here uh, and it's just a string and it's a key command. Okay. Uh, and then I uh, create my constructor. So public Redis store. Uh, and I pass here a Redis, uh, Redis data source. There we go. Data source, data source. Let me see what copilot. Yes, that works for me. Get value. Uh, yeah, it's not, no, <laughs> you, you were almost right. Um, copilot, that is this. And here I need to pass him, uh, so the easy way of doing that. I need to pass a type reference so I can do new type reference. And no, I don't want to implement it. I just want to say, come on, type reference. It's a list message, something like that. Uh, do, 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 do. Let me close this here. Uh, no, that's it. Sorry new value type reference. I'm always get crazy with all the, um, oh, I get this. That should be good. And yeah, I need something here. Okay. And here I need my, uh, key. Okay. And that should be good. Okay. Um, so delete messages. Uh, basically what I can do here, uh, uh, that's the most easy one. I will use here my key commands and I will do key commands, uh, del mem memory to string. Okay. So I get the key and delete this key and I delete the entry, uh, get the messages. So that is, uh, also something pretty easy, but I just need to make sure that the key exists. So I do a key command. Uh, uh, exists, ex exist and the, the memory string. Let me see. Yes. To string. Um, what do I do here? Exist memory. No, no, it's an exist though. I don't want equals one. It's a bit annoying. I think I'm going to remove, um, copilot for my, um, for my life coding because it's, it's, uh, more disturbing than, uh, okay. There we go. Uh, is that a, a correct? Yes. So if it exists, return the, the value, uh, else, uh, return, uh, collection, uh, collection and empty list. Okay. And finally the, uh, what, why are you not happy? is undefined empty co oh, collections, collections. Sorry for that collections. Okay. And the last one is, um, update message. So basically the set command, 
And uh, here I'm going to use my uh, value command. Okay, and it's really easy. It's just a matter of setting for the ID, the messages. Cool, that's it. That's my uh, implementation. Okay, uh, can we move this stuff here? And um, it's a bean uh, by default. Uh, let me put here application scoped and let me add the default. I'm not sure I need both. If anyone in the video knows more about this, uh, you know, but that means that uh, when the application will start, it will pick up this implementation of the chat memory store using Redis. Okay. Uh, one last thing I need to do is to uh, write my custom, a custom uh, coder, a codec. Okay. Um, there is a codec in the Quarkus extension for those messages. For some reason, it's not picked up. And um, the chat message that you see here, um, it's not possible to um, to create a JSON, to marshal it to, to JSON because I think there's a missing uh, constructor, empty constructor. Anyway, um, I struggled a bit, but I uh, finally find a way to do that. Uh, let me create one. Okay, let's create, uh, let's call it the chat message uh, codec. There we go. And uh, let me be honest here. Let me do a copy, copy, copy paste because it's not that interesting. And I will share the code, of course, with you. But basically, uh, I implement codec here. Here I say uh, if it can implement a list of uh, messages. I have an encode and a decode. Okay, it's application scoped. That's cool. Uh, let me double check if I'm not missing anyone, uh, anything. Yes, I see here my other project. Let me just add this JSON P to handle uh, well the stuff. Even if I have already have Jackson, again, that is some weird stuff that I need to clean up. But anyway, uh, that's cool. Let's see uh, what happened here. Well, yeah, because I did some, uh, Let's stop the app. Huh? It should probably work, but let, just to be sure, let's start the app. And what should happen? Because I'm uh, using Redis, he should he should spin up. There we go. Uh, a container with a Redis. Okay. So again, locally, I can uh, totally test my my stuff here. Um, and let's try again to see if it work if it works. So I go here and I. We'll do my curl command again. Curl. There we go. Um, my name is Seb. Okay. There we go. Maybe it will time out. I have some weird feeling that Olama goes in standby mode after a few minutes, something like that. Yeah, you see it, it timed out. Maybe something I can um, change. Anyway, this time now it's worn up. You know, <laughs> it needs to 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 get hot a bit like the JVM. Uh, anyway, hi, hello, Seb, uh, et cetera. And now I do a curl where I will ask for my name. And it should still work. But the nice thing here is, uh, hi, Seb, the, 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 the memory is stored in Redis. How can we check that? Uh, the, the error that we see here is the, is the timeout. So don't really worry about that. Uh, let me just go here to the dev UI. Uh, um, dev sources, and I get my Redis here. So if I do, uh, if I come back here and I do a Redis, uh, Redis, I connect to my Redis here. Okay. And let's get all the keys. I got one key, key one. Okay. For the, for the one that I passed, uh, in my, in my, in my method. And if I do a get one okay i can see here my uh my history okay if i i chat again so you can see here there's some discussions uh if i do another curl here i say uh let's say do, 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 uh, i am i am 45 years old okay so that's new information for him I don't, I'm not sure what he will reply here, but uh, let's see. Okay. Hi, nice. So it's nice to meet you. Uh, you mean you were born in 1977? 
No, I'm born in 1978, but yeah, it, it's, it's an LLM. Um, if I go here and I ask for my key again, I should have here uh, the information about me being 735, so, so it's working. The great thing here, uh, now it's using a Redis as container, but if you're using an external uh, Redis, and I will provide you a link in the in the description where you can get a free Redis um, at Ivan, no credit card to ask. But the nice thing is if you um, go away uh, and you come back the, the next day and you provide the same, the same ID, you can continue the conversation, okay? About the ID itself, for now it's really, um, I didn't implement it, if you uh, remember here, I just passed a one. I, the code that I will check in is a bit more uh, advanced. Actually, I'm using um, the increment command in Redis to, uh, if there's no ID, I increment that and uh, stuff like that. But anyway, here I got my chat memory store implementation in Redis, my chatbot as memory. So we are all set for the next step. Maybe next video I will implement this um, ID stuff and uh, we will make the prompt a bit more sophisticated. Now it's just a string. We will create an instructor uh, that will uh, give us way more uh, fine grained control on how we want to, to, to manage our chatbot and our conversation. Uh, let me go back here to the main screen. Yay. So that's it. Um, a blog post should follow uh, after this. And uh, until then, please stay safe, have fun. Uh, subscribe to my channel, put a thumbs up, uh, put comments. It's always great to, to read those. And I wish you an awesome morning, afternoon, whatever, wherever you are. And uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.